Hello and welcome to new session of Future Camp 2016. We are in chapter 2.1. In this chapter, we will be looking the introduction of Future Camp. Future Camp is world's first feature-based programming system. What do you mean by feature-based programming system? It's slightly different from any other CAM software in a way that in other CAM so softwares we will create a 3D model and we then finalize which tool to use and we will then define a strategy and create a tool path. But in feature CAM when we create a feature tool path is simultaneously produced. The best part is you can even create uh, the roughing or semi finishing or finishing tool path at a time. So that makes this software very attractive and leading feature based CAM program in the market. If you look at the history, it is first developed by a company called Engineering Geometry Systems in which, which was started in 1985. And then this company was acquired by Dell CAM 2005 and it became very famous during this tenure and later Autodesk acquired Dell CAM in 2014. The latest version of this software is 2016 and in feature CAM when you open it you can see that these all software uh, we have a turn we have milling software we have EDM setups and we have simulation machine design, tombstone fixtures and multiple fixture setups. When you open a feature cam, you will get this interface. These are the menu bars. We have file, edit, view, construct, manufacturing option, windows help and then we have toolbars below it. On the right side you can see the results bar and this is the main graphic window and this area is called as toolbox and this particular region is called as assistant bar and then this is called feature geometry edit bar and below it is status bar in this a uh, chapter I'll be dealing how to use how to do a uh, use mouse control that is which all buttons are assigned to which all functions then we will see how to easily pick up a principal view then I will teach you how to hide or show a geometry or whatever things you want to keep on the screen so we will start with mouse control so when we open a feature cam window the initial viewing mode on the startup is pan and zoom and when you use the middle button of your mouse it's always in current viewing mode the current viewing mode is that mode which you right click the mouse and use for viewing you right click the mouse and you can select rotate function tracker ball function pan and zoom rotate x axis only rotate y axis so any one of this viewing you viewing mode you opt that will become the middle mouse button behavior and if you want to do a pan and zoom then you click the middle button and you click shift and when you move the mouse you can pan and zoom I can you can use middle but button and control to rotate the model or you can use control plus shift plus middle button to zoom and if you just scroll the scrolling wheel you can just zoom in and zoom out next we'll see how to quickly move to different views if you want to go to any view or uh, any principal views that is front back left right top or bottom you can go to view then expand this principal views and opt for any of the view or else right click the mouse okay 
and the bottom of this menu you can see that there is top, bottom, front, back, left and right. You can opt for any of the principal view or else in the standard toolbar you will get this drop down menu. You click on this icon and you will get this menu and you can opt for any of the views. Next I will explain you how to show or hide any of the geometry or any of the surface or curves on the screen. First we will start with show. If you want to show any of the hidden uh, geometry or stock or anything just need to go to view, expand it, go to show and in show you have all these options that is show all, show stock and the entire list. If you want to show a hidden geometry you can very well opt for it. You want to show the dimension you click on it and the dimension will appear on the screen or else you have an advanced toolbar here and this is the icon to show. You click on this show icon you will get the same drop down menu here. You opt for any of the things you like. Similarly, if you want to hide any of the things on the screen, you just go to view, expand hide. If you want to hide a stock, click on this hide stock icon and the stock will be hidden. Say similarly, on this advanced toolbar, you have this same icon which we used for a show which is crossed. That means we are hiding it. You click on that all these options will be popped up and then you select any of the thing you want to hide. If you want to hide a feature, all the feature, you just click on this hide all feature. Now I'll show you how to do all these things in feature camp.